And welcome back, Magic the Rescuing fans. We've got yet another Ikoria layer of Behemoth's booster box and a special treat that came because we ordered a collector booster box. This was supposed to come with it. It didn't come with it, so they sent them out later. So our LGS took care of business and made it right and sent this out to us. I have really no clue what's supposed to be in here, what can come in here. Um, so this is going to be a cool treat. Um, I tried to look it up, but I only found a few cards that might be in it, and we're going to open it up together later. Uh, probably before the box topper. I don't know why I want to do that, but I want to do it before the box topper in the Ikoria box. So we got Tree Beard here. We're hanging out with the Terrapin Moon again. He's going to hang on to this. And we're going to go into the box. We are only missing eight cards from the full regular set of Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. So we are on the hunt. We're on the hunt for Luca, Vivian, Brokos, Aluna, Winota, Nethroi. I'm missing one Triome, the Indatha Triome. And I also need the Mythos of Snapdax. So hopefully we can pull it. If we do, this would kind of be an epic pull because we need seven Mythics. We need seven Mythics to make it happen. Yesterday we only pulled four Mythics, but it was three out of the four that I needed. And on top of being three out of the four, it was the number one and number three card. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to slide these out so we have some room to separate our stuff here. And we're going to get right into it with pack number one off the right hand side there. Seven Mythics, that's what we're looking for today. Alright, the Dinosaur Beast in the mountain. And we're starting off again with a foil on the first pack. I'll move Treebeard, I think he's in the way here. Treebeard, take your box toppers and your packs and stay out of our way. Alright. Starting off with the Polywog Symbiote Foil and our Zagoth Triome. Not the Triome we need, first Triome of the box there. And then quickly through, today is going to be a fairly quick one. We're going to go through these and we're just going to pull out the alternate arts. Alright. Guys, thanks for watching Magic the Rescuing. Make sure that you uh, like and subscribe below. Make sure you check out all of our cool sites in the links in the description. Rugged Highlands. Okay, and a Genesis Ultimatum for our rare. Glowstone Recluse. Really opening up Icoria Layer Behemoths has been so much fun. We've done some collector booster boxes. We've done some regular booster boxes. We did some bundles earlier. And the only thing that really was not that fun and was kind of a fail were those theme decks. And we'll never visit those again. I advise you highly do not order the theme decks. Okay, Labyrinth Raptor. And... Through. No mythics yet. We got one triome, no mythics, one foil. No crazy foils like last box, it looks like. Well, could be. We got 11 foils out of last box. Which is kind of a high number. Okay, and then the Lava Brink Venture for our rare. I do love the Honey Mammoth. I know I said we were going to go fast, but I have to stop it, you know, every once in a while with the really cool arts. Alright. We have a heck of a stash of Ikoria Lair Behemoth cards that we're going to make some decks out of here. Okay, there's our second foil, the Snare Tactician. And our rare is going to be the Gem Razor Alternate Art. He's such a cool card. Alternate art and a rare, so that's a little different. We'll put him in a different pile. Okay. 
Make sure you guys check out our Instagram, at Magic the Rescuing. We're doing some giveaways, trying to link our people up from Instagram over to the YouTube. Make sure you check it out. Give us some likes. Olash the Prey Piercer for the rare. Oh, of course, can't skip that Zagoth Mamba. He's cool. Alright, we're about halfway through the first stack here. No Mythics. Zero on the Mythics. And zero on the cards we need so far. So we're hoping for a rally here. Mythos of Nethroi. I need the Snapdax, not Nethroi. Still love the art on those cards. Very cool. I wonder what our box topper is going to be today. We've gotten the Death Corona. I forget what the one yesterday is, but he's the Gem Razor alternate from uh, the Godzilla. Skycat Sovereign for our rare. You know, I was so focused on M21 that I hadn't heard anything about the, the jump start. And now I'm seeing stuff coming out for jump start. Now I'm thinking to myself, now I have to get jump start too. All sorts of tribal stuff going on there. Cats and dogs living together. Insanity. Brokos, Apex of Forever. In foil. I needed him in regular. I'm not going to be mad about it, but that's our first mythic, and it's a foil mythic. Awesome, very cool. I cannot believe it. And then the Sea Dasher Octopus following right after that, so mythic and a rare in that pack. That's a pretty good pack. And then, of course, one of our patron tiers, Stormwild Caprador. Anyway, I know I've asked this before, but leave it in the comments. What what set are you most excited for in the next coming months that Wizards is releasing? We got Double Masters, we got Jumpstart, we got M21, we got that new Zendikar coming out. Lots of crazy stuff. Zerda the Dawn Waker. That's our rare. Boneyard Lurker. I like that alternate art. I know I've said it before, but Double Masters is what I'm really excited for. A lot of people have a have a bad feeling about Double Masters because of the price point and all this stuff, but I think it's going to be really cool. It's definitely going to have value. There's a Riel the Everwise for our second Mythic. We're looking for Winota. Riel's got some value, though, so we won't fight about getting her. All right, last pack of the first stack. We caught up on the Mythics there. Got our one Triumph, two Mythics, and one of those Mythics is a foil Mythic, so hopefully that means we're doing a good job here. All right, Umori is our rare. Evolving Wilds. And the Farfinder. I love the Farfinder. All right, second stack. Here we come. Ruinous Ultimatum for the rare. All the ultimatums are really cool. There's that Whisper Squad. I need to make a Whisper Squad deck. I think that's going to be on the list of decks to make coming up. We're on two Mythics right now. If we go continue along this trend, that would be six Mythics for the box, but not one of them is one that I need yet. A Foil Swamp coming in there. Okay. 
Mythos of Snapdax, there we go, I needed that. That's one of the last rares that I need, between that and the Indotha Triome. Awesome. All right, now we're catching up. Now we're on pace to do what we need to do here. If you guys don't know about Magic the Rescuing, we're trying to start a rescue ranch for farm animals and Great Danes. So make sure you check us out. Make sure you check out the websites and the links below. Um, we would greatly appreciate your support and patronage if you want to become a patron um, of our content. That would be really awesome too. A foil alternate migratory great horn. Huh, that's cool. And then Offspring's Revenge is the rare. Sky Nomad on this one. I do love Urian. I've got to make a deck for him too. Too busy opening up cards. I gotta make some cool decks coming out here. There we go. A Luna Apex of Wishes. We needed her, and that's such a cool card. I think that's definitely my favorite art out of the entire set. Very nice, and that's our third mythic. Very cool. Evolving Wilds. Alright, not too bad. Moving along here. Hopefully we beat the mythic count for the last last one. Okay, we got a foil rare Yadaro Wandering Monster. And then behind that, Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. Look at that. Foil rare. And then a mythic Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. How awesome is that? It's a couple of really, really sweet packs in here so far. So four Mythics, still only one Triome. I haven't gotten that full art Triome. We've gotten one per box usually. Oh, and there's a Lurus of the Dream Den. Very nice card, very nice rare. Even though he's banned, he's still cool. Little Petit Alternate Art. And the unpredictable cyclone for the rare. Okay, come on now. We need some Luca, Vivian, Brokos. I need the Brokos regular, not the foil now. Okay, a foil ferocious tigerillo. Watch out. That's a scary card. Alright, and then Gigantha the Wellspring for our rare, and then a really cool Avian Oddity right behind that. Cloud Piercer. Always get one of those alternate art cloud piercers usually. Okay, almost through this second stack. Just a few more packs to go. And we're on the last, last stack of packs. And the Dirge Bat. He was ever so elusive in my first few pulls. And now he just seems to haunt me. He's coming to get me. Alternate art Huntmaster Liger. Another Farfinder. Oh, and I love the Fire Prophecy. Such a cool, cool art on that one. 
A few more packs left in the second stack. We have the four mythics that were equal to the last box. Oh, and there is our full art triome that we've been looking for. The Savai Triome. Very nice. Second triome of the box. Alright, last pack of the second stack, and then we're on to the last, last stack. Okay, and then we got, oh, jumping the gun there. Foil Porky Parrot. Nice card. Followed by the Voracious Great Shark. Got a Porky Parrot regular and Porky Parrot foil. All the same. All right, last stack. Will we continue the two triomes or one triome and two mythics per stack? Or is this last stack in the oh. Oh, last stack's giving me trouble already? Maybe that means it's going to be better than the first two. Sticking together a little bit. Okay, there we go. Kogla, the Titan Ape. That's our rare. And the Sprite Dragon. Evolving Wilds. These are sticking a little bit here. All the foils are a little sticky. So Gloom Pangolin for the foil. And then a Crystalline Giant for the rare. I do love the Crystalline Giant. He's a cool card. Awesome. Come on, where's Luca? Vivian and Luca and Winoda. All the humans, they don't want to hang out. Whirlwind of Thought for our rare. Got another Yadaro there. This time the regular, not the foil. There are a wandering monster, another Stormwild Caprador. An alternate migratory Great Horn. Death's Oasis for the rare. I do like that one. That's a Vi Thunder main. Awesome art on that card. And then Satiable Hemophage. Super creepy. What is he even trying to eat there? Something. It's not good. I'll tell you that. Seven packs. The lucky seven packs. So far, no mythics in the second or the third stack. Oh, and we got another foil rare, Mori the Collector. Very nice. And then Kahira the Orphan Guard. Six left. Six to go, and then we got the cool alternate Japanese pack with the box topper. You can't forget about the box topper. Another foil, Wilt. And then the Slither Wisp. He's super creepy too. Necro Panther, I do love that art.
Okay, five packs down to the last five. Not one mythic in the final stack yet. Gem Razor is going to be our rare. Four packs, down to four, the last four. The Hunted Nightmare, that's going to be our rare. And then the really cool Ominous Seas card. Got to make an Ominous Seas deck, too. Mystic Oricorn alternate art. And then there were three. Three left. Oh, I got a sneak peek. We got an Ivy Elemental there. And then Vadrock, Apex of Thunder, and the Mythic. Alternate art. I needed him in the last one, and I got him. So we got the alternate art this time. It's only two triomes. Two triomes. Five mythics now, so we beat the other box at least. Okay, we got a little Karuga the Macro Sage for our rare. A Whisper Squad there. Cavern Whisperer alternate. And the last pack. They're going to make me work to get that full set. And the last one is a Shark Typhoon. Cool card. Needed that last time. And I got it last time. Still a cool card. Lord Dracus for the alternate art. Alright. So I said we were going to do Old Silver first. Okay, Ikoria Collector Booster, Japanese Ancillary Pack. I have no idea what any of that means. And I'm probably not going to be able to read any of these cards because I think that they're in Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. All right. I have no idea what the order is supposed to be. I'm just going to flip them over. What the heck? Okay. So we're starting off with... I'm pretty sure that that's Mothra's Cocoon. And it's a regular Mothra's Cocoon. And I have no idea what it does or what it says. It's in Japanese. And then we got another Mothra's Cocoon. Regular. Okay. So two. And then, yeah, I saw this one online too. That's the alternate Japanese dirge bat. And then, our foil, I'm pretty sure that this is a form of Mecha Godzilla in Japanese art, and that's the foil. I think that this might be the best one you can get. So, very cool, awesome. Like that. It's weird when you can't read what the card does. All right, we're going to be able to read what this card does, that's for sure. Be very careful. Be very careful opening these. There we go. Because you never know, it could be a Garuda. And that's really what I'm looking for. I think Garuda is the coolest card. It just so happens to be the most expensive card, too. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. 
The baby Godzilla. Womp womp. That's all right. Still cool. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. Thanks for, thanks for watching Magic the Rescuing. And don't forget to check out the links below and support us. Thanks so much.